Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Our profound understanding of the cosmos didn't emerge overnight. It's the result of years of exploration and discovery, and one of the most intriguing chapters in this story comes from the Voyager missions. The unsettling experience Voyager 1 recently had with an unidentified force could potentially unveil a completely new perspective on space. If it weren't for the journeys of these pioneering probes, our grasp of the universe and many of our significant achievements would be far less advanced. Yet, after decades of traversing the vast expanse of space, one of these remarkable probes seems to be encountering difficulties. Embark with us on an exploration of the cosmic unknown as we unravel the mysteries of outer space. We're diving into the story of two of the most monumental space probes ever launched, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. These twin explorers have been cruising through space, offering us a glimpse into their fascinating journey. Over the past 45 years, their voyages have revealed an incredible amount about the universe and its hidden secrets. From the early days of their launch, when there was no internet, no mobile phones, and no modern technology, they have been steadfastly gathering data and expanding our knowledge. It's almost surreal to think about the technological landscape at the time of their launch compared to today. Yet, despite the technological limitations of their era, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have continued to provide us with invaluable insights. Their enduring missions highlight not only the progress we've made in space exploration, but also the profound mysteries that still await discovery. Since NASA launched Voyager 1 in 1977, the spacecraft has spent decades exploring the cosmos, offering us unique and rare views of the solar system. Interestingly, the mission has far outlasted the initial expectations set by scientists. Despite the many years of terrestrial research, space conditions proved vastly different, allowing the spacecraft to travel at speeds comparable to those of other planets and achieve milestones more quickly than anticipated. This remarkable efficiency led to the extension of the mission from a planned 30-year journey to an indeterminate period. Although Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft were launched just two weeks apart and followed slightly different trajectories, Voyager 1 managed to outpace its counterpart significantly, reaching key milestones in just 12 years, a notably short duration in the realm of space travel. Voyager 1 also made history as the first spacecraft to reach the edge of the solar system. This journey was fraught with risks, including the very real danger of the spacecraft becoming lost in the vastness of space. The contributions of these probes have been monumental in expanding our understanding of space. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have provided invaluable data and images, leaving scientists and NASA engineers in awe. They revealed iconic features such as Jupiter's Great Red Spot and captured the first images of the giant planet. The missions have also led to remarkable discoveries, including the presence of water on Europa, the identification of the largest natural satellite in the solar system, and the detection of active volcanoes on Io. These findings have uncovered previously unknown or seemingly impossible aspects of our solar system, enriching our knowledge of distant celestial bodies. Isn't that fascinating? Voyager 1 reached its primary target, Saturn, nearly 13 years after its launch. This milestone provided scientists with valuable insights into Saturn's wind speeds and its surprisingly short 10-hour days, an astonishingly brief duration compared to Earth's 24-hour cycle. The mission significantly advanced our understanding of Saturn's atmosphere and its moon Titan, revealing its nitrogen-rich environment and uncovering 10 additional moons orbiting the gas giant. After gathering critical data at Saturn, Voyager 1 veered off course to explore the heliosphere, while Voyager 2 continued its journey towards the outermost planets in our solar system. Both spacecraft have not only answered numerous questions about the vastness of space, but have also posed new ones. Voyager 2, for instance, provided unprecedented data on Neptune, a planet once considered relatively insignificant. The fact that Neptune, located so far from the Sun and receiving minimal solar energy, could support diverse weather patterns and climates both amazed and puzzled scientists. By 2004, both probes were far beyond the familiar boundaries of our solar system, reaching what could be described as its outermost limits. They encountered the termination shock, a region where solar wind speeds dramatically slowed from millions of miles per hour to a mere 250 miles per hour, a stark contrast to the high velocities encountered in intergalactic space. 
This observation underscores that even the vast distances of our solar system are relatively small in the grand scale of the cosmos. Although Voyager 1 had reached the outer boundary of our solar system, it still had to traverse the heliosphere to enter interstellar space. For context, the heliosphere acts as a protective bubble around our solar system, shielding us from the harsh radiation and energetic particles of interstellar space. Voyager 1 has traveled an astounding 12 billion miles since its launch 45 years ago, making it the farthest human-made object from Earth. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is that it was accomplished with technology that seems rudimentary by today's standards. For instance, neither Voyager probe was equipped with a microprocessor, a technology that was still a decade away from becoming mainstream at the time of their launch. The longevity of these probes can be attributed to their simple hardwired systems. The onboard processors were basic, low-power devices, and data collected by the instruments was stored on an 8-track tape recorder. The data transmission back to Earth was handled by a device consuming as little energy as a refrigerator light bulb. It's truly astounding to reflect on the scale of the Voyager missions' as achievements, especially considering the technological limitations of their era. Launched in 1977, the Voyager spacecraft were equipped with technology that now seems primitive compared to today's standards. Yet, Voyager 1 continued to function and transmit valuable data back to Earth for over four decades, a feat that is nothing short of remarkable. The ability of these early spacecraft to endure and perform such extraordinary tasks with relatively basic technology highlights the incredible ingenuity and resilience of the engineers and scientists of that time. This prompts an intriguing question. With today's advanced technologies, including high-powered touchscreens and sophisticated computer systems, could we achieve even greater feats in space exploration? You might be surprised to learn that while our technology has advanced significantly, the fundamental principles of engineering and innovation that guided the original Voyagers continue to be central to our efforts in exploring the cosmos. However, Voyager 1 is now facing new challenges after 45 years of operation. The spacecraft, which has ventured about 14.5 billion miles from Earth, is beginning to show signs of trouble. This raises a fascinating question. Have we finally made contact with extraterrestrial beings? Or is space travel proving to be more perilous than we initially thought? The vast distances and harsh conditions of space inevitably take their toll. Despite its impressive longevity, Voyager 1's extended journey through the emptiness of interstellar space has led to some technical issues. While the spacecraft's continued functionality is remarkable, it's only natural that it would face difficulties after such an extensive mission. While Voyager 1 is still operational, scientists have encountered a problem. They are unsure of its exact location. Despite the probe not entering safe mode or issuing any alarms, there are concerns about its status. This sort of malfunction in a probe of this age is not entirely unexpected, though it still leaves NASA scientists and engineers puzzled. The exact nature of what Voyager 1 has encountered in the unexplored realms of interstellar space remains unclear. Is it a result of a malevolent force, or is it simply the wear and tear of prolonged space travel? Scientists speculate that Voyager 1 might be experiencing what they describe as electronic aphasia, a condition where the spacecraft's communications become jumbled, making it difficult to interpret the data it sends back. The high-gain antenna's attitude articulation and control systems, which were responsible for keeping the antenna pointed toward Earth, have begun transmitting garbled information rather than the routine health and status updates. NASA believes that the data Voyager 1 is sending could be random and unrelated to the ACS actual condition. The situation underscores the challenges of deep space exploration and the effects of aging on spacecraft. Despite these issues, the data Voyager 1 continues to send back is still valuable, offering insights into the mysteries of interstellar space. Since the Voyager 1 mission is slated to conclude in 2030, NASA has been extending its operational life by reducing power to non-essential components over the past three years. Despite these efforts, the spacecraft is facing some challenges. Interestingly, even with the occasional false signals, Voyager 1 remains robust. It's reassuring that its antenna is still correctly oriented towards Earth, evidenced by the steady radio signal, which indicates the probe's proper positioning despite inaccuracies in location data. The fault protection system, designed to safeguard the spacecraft in case of a malfunction, hasn't been triggered by the current issues. 
NASA engineers discovered that the spacecraft's attitude articulation and control system had been sending telemetry data through an onboard computer that had failed years earlier. This problem was identified and fixed to prevent further anomalies. The next task is to pinpoint and address the root cause of the errant signals. Although the situation is manageable at present, NASA scientists are diligently working to decode the latest messages from the aging spacecraft. Voyager 1 was initially built to endure the harsh conditions of space, and its operation has been relatively smooth since entering the sun's magnetic field. This field provides protection against high-energy particles and solar radiation, minimizing potential damage to the spacecraft's memory even when struck by energetic particles. However, this damage can accumulate over time. Fortunately, NASA anticipated such challenges and designed Voyager 1's internal systems and computers to withstand these conditions. The end of an era is upon us. Despite the remarkable success of the Voyager missions, difficult decisions must be made to pave the way for future endeavors. After 45 years of incredible exploration, the Voyager probes are approaching their final chapter. Recent issues with Voyager 1's onboard computers and attitude articulation and control system signal that the spacecraft's operational life is drawing to a close. NASA has begun the process of shutting down its systems and preparing to say farewell to the probe. It's truly extraordinary that humanity managed to send probes into deep space that have endured for so long, especially considering the technology available at the time. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, have provided us with unprecedented views of the two largest planets in our solar system. By 2030, both spacecraft will be officially decommissioned. NASA is immensely proud of their performance, noting that they have functioned 10 times longer than originally anticipated. Currently, Voyager 1 has four operational components left, while Voyager 2 has five. These systems are powered by decaying plutonium, which will eventually be depleted. The spacecraft's battery output diminishes by 4 watts each year, leading NASA to make difficult decisions about which components to shut down. For instance, in 2019, the heater for the vital cosmic ray detector was turned off. As the mission winds down, the magnetometer and plasma science instrument are expected to be among the last components to be deactivated. The remaining instruments are housed within the spacecraft's body and are sustained by the heat generated by the onboard processors. These components, particularly those on the 13-meter fiberglass boom, will be the last to cool. As we approach the end of this remarkable journey, the Voyager missions stand as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. One key reason for ending the Voyager missions is the vast distance the spacecraft have traveled from Earth. Currently, it takes about 22 hours for a radio signal to reach Earth from Voyager 1 and 18 hours from Voyager 2. This delay increases by 3 to 4 light seconds each day, making communication increasingly challenging as the probes move farther apart. The faint signals received from the spacecraft are also becoming more difficult to decipher due to interference from Earth's noise and scattered signals, compounded by recent glitches in their systems. Despite these challenges, the Voyager missions have made invaluable contributions. They've provided unique and priceless insights into the largely uncharted regions of outer space. It will likely take humans another three centuries to reach the edge of our solar system, but astronomers might be able to access interstellar space much sooner. The Voyagers pave the way for future spacecraft, serving as crucial stepping stones in our exploration of the cosmos. In a sense, they have become historical artifacts. Considering their current capabilities, it's remarkable that the Voyagers continue to function despite having memory systems with 3 million times less storage than modern cell phones and operating at speeds nearly 40,000 times slower than 5G internet. Each spacecraft carries a golden record, a message from Earth to space, featuring 55 languages, images of notable people and places, and a selection of music. This record symbolizes humanity's enduring fascination with communicating with extraterrestrial life. Jamie Rankin, an astronomer involved in the Voyager missions, expressed satisfaction with the mission's tremendous, albeit unintentional, success. He highlighted the need for multi-generational teams to achieve such feats. The technology used in the Voyager probes was not expected to last as long as it has, yet it has endured remarkably well. Even though the missions have become less prominent in recent years, the two probes remain critical tools in expanding our understanding of space and stand at the forefront of space exploration. And that's it. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey through Spaceverse. 
we've explored the incredible legacy of the Voyager missions, from their groundbreaking discoveries to their current challenges as they edge closer to the edge of our solar system. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new adventure through the universe. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.